everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazy. The Night Gods have pushed forward. They're about to smash the command base of the Reapers. Alright, so here we are. We dropped in. I uh, misclicked when I was dropping the Lance in, so we're short one unit. Uh, Rose and her Stormcrow are not here, unfortunately. So I thought I would try this without her, see how it goes. We got seven mechs and two vehicles. It's a four and a half skull versus uh, pirates, and it's a base destruction. So we should be able to destroy this base relatively simply. It's law. I mean, we got plenty of long range weapons. It's just getting out of here afterwards. But I think we'll probably stick around. This is probably an exterminator. Um, so we do have the two Timberwolves in battle today. Um, I gave one to Blade, and I gave one to... Was it Giants got one? I believe. Yes, Giants got the large pulse laser Goss rifle. And a pair of ER medium lasers. Bolt on tandem 20s. Commander. And Blade has got the ER large, two ER mediums, and a pair of LRM 20s with a lot of Artemis ammo. So I don't think we brought any... Yeah, it's just all Artemis. Alright, well, let's see how we do here. I don't think it should be too much of a problem... I think if we were like against the clans or were to Blake, it might be a difficult thing at this skull rating, but I think we're probably fine. Actually, let's just get started. I was able to put together a second bandit hovercraft as well. Uh, that's that building. Let's just back up a little bit. We've already had them drop a couple missiles on us, so I don't want to push too much closer until we know what we're up against here. It is four and a half skulls, so it's probably at least three lances. Wow, it's out of the range for the LRMs, eh? That's fine. Roger that. Enemy it's only turn breaking. one, so not a big deal. So I want to thank you, everybody in the... Oh, we've got three lances here that we're facing, at least, Griffin. Um, for uh, letting me know about the um, hot seat cockpit. Uh, I didn't I re I didn't realize I had one, or I realized I had one, but I didn't know. I probably did know, but I forgot uh, that it, it has TSM built in. So I was able to redo... Let's get you here I think. I was able to redo the swordsman for the uh, the hooligans. So um, yeah there's a lot of changes coming up in the next episode with the uh, with the hooligans that's for sure. Because um, I, I re basically reorganized like the, the top three like the big three mechs the phoenix the swordsman and the um, the thunderbolt. So that should be an interesting playthrough next time. Orders. Yeah, because we were able to, like, with the, uh, with, let's get you, let's not do, let's not go too close. Let's just move up and embrace here. So we know what we're up Copy against. That. Yeah, I was able to get that, that vibro sword in. So, um, thank you everyone who's posting on the polls, everyone that's interested in the next, uh, series. I'm still working on that. Um, it's looking as though, it's like, most people like Steiner and Davian, it looks like. Um, and they're not liking House Liao, which is fine. I mean, I'm whatever. Here. Uh, but my thought is, oh yeah, this has got an AMS Mark II on it as well, so we're gonna put that on overload. Take a pot shot at this building. We'll save the Goss ammo. I don't know what we're up against, but we'll fire the large pulse. Acknowledge. So my thought on that matter is, is I'm gonna choose a planet, and I'll be po posting another video this weekend to get more thoughts from people. But my idea is to, to like put a planet on like the the border, like the the corners between Liao, Steiner, and Davian, and say it was like it's a planet trying to go independent, and Liao is trying to keep its grasp on it. So when it tries to go independent, House Liao tries to step in and take the planet, and then um, at that point in time, the Davian side of things and the Steiner side of things are like well we have interest in that planet too but we can't go to war so we're going to send in mercenary units to stir the pot so to speak so we might have a, um, a three way match where Liao will be the defenders and the guys that we're fighting against and um, let's move you here and then we, we might run two sides of things where we have uh, Steiner and Davian. I'm not going to run the, these just yet. Um, and we'll have some kind of competition. You know, who can take the most parts, most uh, bit of the planet. And I've decided, I think, how we're going to run things for taking, like, important strong points in that. 
Um, I still need to work out a few other things like like turns and things like that. How that'll work? Because I mean, some people can play more, and some people will won't be able to play as much. So we want to make sure everyone's feeling like they're contributing. So even if you're only able to play one game a week or two games a week or something like that, you'll still be able to contribute. And people who are playing like you know one or two games a day or more um, will contribute as well. It's just that we have to make sure that we balance it out so everybody feels like what's oh, a turret I can hit. Too ballistic. Heavy howitzer. Yeah, we better shoot this guy. Yeah, we can't get the PPCs on it though. Uh, we'll definitely get that next turn though. Can we get the PPCs here? We can. Let's fire on this. Tell me what to shoot. So I want to try to make sure everyone's getting. Wow, both PPCs missed. Orders. I want to make sure like everyone's getting a half decent experience. Let's get you into here. So this is the second bandit I put together. It's got an LRM-20 on it. Same speed as the other one. Uh, just that it's got the LRMs. Now, I, don't, I can't remember what ammo. We got a vehicle right here. Is that a vehicle? Is that, it is a vehicle. Rotunda. We better shoot that guy. So I think we just got, we got standard and SAM ammo. Fair bit of ammo. That's a really crappy chance to hit. That's the Griffin. Might as well shoot the Rotunda. What the hell? Orders. Get the other one up here too. Don't shoot your own guy. Oop, there was something over there. Shouldn't have been sprinting it. Uh, we've only got... Yeah, we got lots of HE rounds. Might as well fire it. Get some more damage in early. What else do we have here? Igor! Another AMS-2. I gotta get you moving up here. Because this Talos is really slow. Really great for overheating, but super damn slow. So yeah, um, as I was saying, we want to make sure everybody's feeling like, you know, they're contributing and has stuff to do. But what I was planning on doing is, the way I had kind of had the map set up in the um, the description video that I did. Yeah, fuck off with your artillery. Yeah, they nerfed the artillery a bit, looks like. System's holding. You've got nothing! You hear so, um, rather than having like a three skull mission to take a certain location we're gonna give a location a skull value and I'm just gonna throw the number out 10 let's say so in order to take a location you have to perform at least 10 skulls worth of battles so you don't have to do a two skull mission to take the location you have to do up to 10 skulls of missions so if you've got one person who can handle doing like four skull missions then they can run a mission saying that they're attacking the base and they're doing four skulls worth of damage but if someone is only playing every once in a while, then they can run a one skull mission or a half skull mission even, and still contribute to capturing the point. And that way everyone can contribute in their own way. Um, so the people who are playing more and have like better lances aren't um, the only people that can contribute to the battle. So you, you play at your level and yet you're still contributing in the long run. So that's my thought. Um, and I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna, I'll be re reiterating this in another video that I'll be posting this weekend, um, so you guys can get the idea of, you know, um, of what I'm thinking. Uh, and then, as far as the oh, maps go, I'm thinking about, like, we'll probably do the first one relatively simple to start. All right, now what do I want to do here? We got guys over here. Got an archer. Thumpolisher. Thumpolisher. You know, we know it's got thumpers probably. Fulcrum, got an ass hat back here. We're gonna take out. Uh, that's the Griffin, Rotunda, SRMs, the Griffin Pirate, Hollander. Two. So that's the forty-five tonner, I think. And then all our turrets, and a hunchback. Okay, I still think the turrets are dangerous. So let's get up here. We'll sprint, please. I worry about that um, 
Affirmative. I'll worry about that guy on the uh, left side there in a second. Um, so this is the howitzer turret. So let's go. I'm going to save the incendiaries. And yes. Targeting for an alpha strike. That turret should be gone and shortly. We'll get rid of that. We gotta decide how we're gonna get rid of this guy over here. Uh, looks like he's going next. Oh, he's already gone. Alright, good. I don't want to pull a mech out of out of formation to go after him. Maybe the two vehicles could deal with it? I don't know. He's stealth, so it's gonna be a big dish big deal. I mean we could just ship the vehicles down here. And leave this guy out of position till next turn. Just remember that he's there. Live to serve. Okay, let's get some of this armor forward. Let's get into here. Confirmed. I don't want to take a shot at that guy in case we miss and hit our vehicle. Okay, that's probably a, well, it's not going to be a kill shot. That's a pretty bad chance to hit. Oof, really? That bad, eh? Alright, let's use a Goss round. Let's go after this. Firing on target. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm short on a few things. Um, for these, for the two, um, Timberwolves. So, a lock on me. one of them is good turret components. I need a, a fire control system predator or something like that to help out. What is this? Did someone fire sensors over something over here? Interesting. They shouldn't detect us anyway, because we got our we have our holograms on, so. Oh shoot, I'm down two mechs. Right, because I was sh oh crap. I was shifting rows into the second lance because I wanted to bring Slingshot back up into the primary lance. So, yeah, crap, we're down two mechs. Well, I think we're pretty. I think we're pretty, pretty evenly matched up. They are only pirates. I mean, come on. <laughs> Famous last words. What can I do for you? No, we're not down two mechs. Well. Where's my other guy? Does he have a full skin and like that's why I can't see him? Oh, he's back here. <sighs> Sometimes I question how I'm still breathing. Move up here. To the metal. Okay, I want to get up and control this area here. It puts us in the open, but I think if we can control this area and limit the amount of mechs and stuff that can come through here, we'll be better off. And let's go with this guy. So the reason why I want the howitzer is gone is the splash you, damage it, isn't a big like deal. Um, but if they land a direct hit on somebody and make me completely in unstable and I get knocked over, um, the enemy will just pounce on us. So I want to make sure nobody gets knocked down because of a howitzer turret. Oh, that guy's kind of uh, guy's kind of quiet over there. Good to go. All right, slingshot. Let's get up here. Uh, let's go up to the rotunda. Let's move. I'm really not that worried about this guy. Of course, now that I said that. Um, help us out a little bit here. Oh, he's okay. He's got uh, whatever it is. Here it the comes. skill that helps him out. I don't know which one's better, evasion locks, immune, evasion pips are immune to sensor lock, or if the escapist is better, which gives you plus two evasion. I think for faster vehicles, I would rather go with the plus two evasion, simply because there's, there's even at the higher levels, there doesn't seem to be a lot of sensor locking going on. All right, more power to you. 
Gonna shoot that building out from underneath your ass, though. Punch back. So that's the lerm back, I guess. You got six of them, that ain't bad. This one, it's not a marshal, what's it called again? Oh, exterminator. Ooh, archers with lasers. That's a lot of damage. It's pretty accurate. Heavy damage. I see that. Here's the ass hat. This guy's super hot. Not good for him. Receiving you. Uh, do we take you this direction and kill that guy? Ooh, that's a back shot. All right, let's see how the timber wolf is. I know I said he didn't want to get put out of pull out of position, but if we can get rid of this guy fast, we're not going to get rid of him fast. Hint: he's not going to die fast, but we will shoot him. Rear armor ready. Or will we? A couple points. That was garbage. Well, maybe not. Can't get on that archer yet. Let's get up here. Alright, now at least we'll be out. Once we're up here, we can spread out. Uh, do I finish that turret off or do I go after this guy? Turret's almost done, right? That should probably do it. We hit. Yep. Confetti! Yay! Okay, he's done. What can I do for you? Get that overheater up here, baby. Get it up here. Yeah, that's fine right there. Let's target this guy. Just gonna go with the standard ammo. I don't want. I'm not really big on the overheat just yet. I want to save those rounds. Time to die. That'll still add heat though. Plus 39 heat. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it feels like, and I don't want to, this is the LRM version, back up to here, it feels like the, um, those pirate ACs are like OP. Yeah, I don't know if they are for sure, but they sure feel that way. Wow. Thanks for contributing. Waiting for orders. Thanks for showing up. Being part of the team. Uh, let's keep you... There we go. Aye so we got a short range attack on this guy with HE. Do as much as we possibly can here. That was a CT hit, so I did. you were helping out. Might be able to blow through, we'll see. Well, got rid of his NSS. Well, maybe not. Critical hit. At least in that location. Fucking mortar turret, probably. That was a heavy hit, Commander. I could have been a mortar turret. Can't take much more of this. I can't shoot it down. I can't take much more of this. Oh my God, that, these, listen to these whiners. That hit hard. Whiner. Wrong spot. But whatever. Oops, that's my bad. Fix it. Fix it before he moves. Okay, yeah, he's going first anyway. See what he does. I bet you he runs away, though. Gonna rotate slightly to the left here and, and burn up that archer. I don't think we can kill that rotunda. Oh, he's trying... He's okay, I got, a, I got another beef. I got another beef, and I'm gonna throw it out there because I'm a bit pissed uh, with the rogue tech team. So I don't know if they redid melee or what they did or what, what they've done with the uh, attacks and stuff. Um, but when a 25 ton spider, sorry, 30 ton spider can run four hexes, I think it was three hexes, slam into the side of a centurion who hasn't moved and is braced, slams into the side of centurion, does over a hundred points damage in groups of 25 
knocks it down, and then it explodes because, I, I guess, because the torso or back torso or something had been hit. It looked like it did a side charge and take zero stability damage itself. This game, the melee in this game, is broken because that is ridiculous, and it did happen to me. So, four, four hexes was the maximum distance this thing moved to do over 100 damage for a 30-ton mech and like took basically zero itself. I I'm sorry, but the charging in this game has to go away. So, um, I also thought I would start up a Steiner playthrough just to see what, because I wanted to do some experimenting on settings and stuff. And my uh, starter mech was a Hatchetman, um, which isn't too bad. I thought I would play around with it a bit, but the maybe I'm just not understanding the, the melee concept with the weapon and stuff. It's weird, like, I, w I, I could move forward and not attack a vehicle with my weapon head on, but as long as I step to the side of it, I could attack it with my weapon. And I'm like, how, what, I'm running up and skidding sideways and then attacking it with my with my axe rather than running straight into it I don't under I don't understand so it's just I don't know melee is very weird and maybe just because I don't use it enough but it just seems broken to me in a way all right let's get you uh, this direction get over here already there yeah and I was like so it was the first the um, Large on this guy? Sure. Locking on target. It was the uh, first mission I played with the, the Steiner playthrough I did. It was a... Um, Missed. It was the... Uh, what's it called? Um, Flashpoint. Of course. It was the Flashpoint. Um, the Arana Restoration, the Coronation right. one, where you start off with... Uh, what's his name? Uh, um... Raiju and then uh, Araj, whatever his name was, and um, the uh, the princess and whatever I can't remember her name now. But you start off with those two, right? Lady Arano, that's it. Start off with those two, and then you start off in a Lamb Phoenix Hawk, right? Well, we're gonna improve on this. Fine. Um, so I started off with those three, and then we handled the first two mechs relatively easily, and then. Um, so that was no problem. And then we got into the vehicles. And, you know, I, I forgot about the, um... Thank God for AMS. I forgot about the, um... Commander? The reinforcement lance. So let's put you... Here. Moving to position. Because, fuck this guy. We don't hit our own guys. Got it. So, anyway, yeah. So I, I forgot, and I moved my shadow hawk up. I completely forgot. So the three, the three mechs drop down, and it, it proceeds to play out like this. The locust. There's a locust, a um, a locust, a spider, and a cicada. Commander. Right. Locust goes first. Then it decides... Wait, do I have... I do have incendiaries here. Can we get on that guy? We can get on the archer from over here. Wait, is that the archer? It is the archer. Let's get over here. I'm distracted now because I'm just so pissed off at this. Anyway, so the Locust goes first, and rather than doing anything, it runs up and kicks somebody. It's like, okay, well, it kicked me, then fired its weapons off. No big deal. I could take that. It's fine. Confirmed. And then, um... So, in the midst of the battle, we're, we're fighting back and forth, right? And then I move the Centurion up to the hill. I'm, I'm trying to finish off a vehicle. Then the Spider runs halfway across the map with a charge, knocks me down. Okay, fair enough. Didn't attack me from behind, it hit me on the side, knocked me over. Right? So, I get up, and I back up, restabilize myself, use Vigilance, so I have absolutely no, um... I have no instability, right? I walk backwards, and I brace myself, right? 
Then it runs again, and that's when it hit me for over 100 and something damage, moving four squares, knocks me over and kills me. And I'm like, that's, it's, and of course I, lo I lose the match at that point. So it's like, to me that's broken. And then I'm like, okay, well let's try it again. I was, I'm just interested to see. So I play the same match again, you know, and this time I, you know, I do the same thing. I move forward, vehicles, or the mechs come out, and once again they begin to melee like crazy. So I get a charge from a cicada, which then rams into the side of the Shadow Hawk, taking the leg and knocking it down. Um, Good to go. And it's like they proceeded, the, the three mechs proceeded to melee me more than they just, they did shoot anything. Affirmative. And I'm like, how is this? Like, and it wasn't like I had ridiculous evasion or was, you know, you know, ridiculously, um, let's do this. Like, it wasn't like I was doing anything to make sure that they couldn't hit me with, with their regular weapons. I mean, you do your best, but it's like they just immediately default to melee. And I'm like, how... Why wouldn't you then, if you look at the way it's laid out... And, you know, I, I, I may sound like a whiner, and that's fine, right? Orders. But it's like, if you look at it from a relative reality standpoint, right... If that's if the case is that um, I really should be focusing on what I'm doing here. Your SRM twos. That's the Hollander Pirate. So you got the Rotary Ten. These guys are closing. Tell you what. We started on this guy, let's keep it going. Target confirmed. If melee was that it was actually that effective in combat, then there's no reason to actually put any kind of heavy any kind of weapons at all on a light mech. Especially if you want to turn it into an anti mech mech. Just turn it into a running bullet. Assault mech, no problem. Just run, do massive damage and knock it down. Like, why would you even bother putting weapons on a 3010 Mac then? Receiving you. It just seemed to me to be completely ridiculous and completely breaking of immersion, right? It just made the game unfun. Anyway, long story short, my Shadowhawk lost its leg. I stood up and I kept the end of my turn and fired. And then, um... Locking in all the so at the end of my turn, I fired, and then the beginning of the next turn, the Locust went first, it moved, and then while it's moving, um, my Shadowhawk falls again, and I take another hit to the pilot, and then the one of the vehicles potshots the, the mech and destroys it. So it's like, all because the Cicada decided to run and destroy my leg. It just seemed a bit like... A bit OP. And uh, the one thing I like about Battletech is, is like the moving and the positioning. And the occasional melee here and there, like punching and kicking, it's like, okay, sure. And the, the occasional time you want to charge and knock somebody back, that's fine. But to do 25 points of damage in multiple locations after running four hexes is like, is, why would you shoot a weapon as a, as a light mech? Why shoot anything? Minimal damage, Commander. Someone's about to get some punishment here for, for me losing all my armor. Probably going to be that griffin. Are we finished this? Uh, archer's down? Okay, he's done for the next turn. I got to get, like, to a position where this fucking Hollander can't shoot me. Uh, let's Vigilance. Sprint. Hopefully I'll go before the Hollander. Let's get over here. Yeah, this thing's got like a like a ultra like a light drive like a is it ultra light? Yeah, ultra light gyro too, right? So it's like super light. Okay, so we're gonna put you on. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about the me like the melee options for this game because it's just I don't know that just seemed beyond ridiculous to me that like that I can't finish a half skull or a one skull mission like that. With, with three medium mechs, simply because three light mechs are just 
charging. Every single chance they get, they charge. I mean, I could play the same way, but then, it, like, why have, like, why have such a wide variety of weapons and stuff that when it's like that? I don't mind, like, if a mech runs up and it's got an axe and it hits me and does a massive amount of damage. You're expecting that, right? You bastard. That's what you're expecting it to do, though, right? Ooh, I'm panicking. No, really? You totally expect that, um the mech to do massive amounts of damage with a with a weapon and you should be afraid of it right there's nothing wrong with that my issue I shouldn't have ran up here my issue is that uh, yeah do I probably stay in the trees get into here it just that it just seems unreasonably broken to me All right, let's um, barbecue this guy's ass in molasses. All right, we're gonna we're, we're gonna gang gang bang that Hollander now. He's got to go down. My vehicle should be able to take care of the archer as well as this guy. Oh, the storm crow's in a bad position though, because we got a lot of well, the ass hat's pretty far back still. Fulcrum, Griffin, Thumb Polisher. Yeah, my vehicle should be able to take this. I want to move this guy up here. This guy maybe oh, I don't know if we can get a shot at him over here. We'll have to see. See what they're doing here. But one thing I have been noticing, though, playing with that like that that Steiner playthrough that I started, um, just trying the hatchet mid out, doing some melee stuff. Um, and I've only been using the hatchet. I haven't been kicking or punching or charging. I've just been using the hatchet. It works really well in vehicles. I'll, I'll tell you that. <laughs> when he hits a vehicle. Especially at low levels, it uh, pretty much shreds the damn thing. Alright, let's get you... Here. No. Yes. Copy that. Be accurate. That's all I'm gonna say. Wow, really, eh? Wait, that's a, that's a direct fire. Now it's telling me indirect? Medium and large. At least it'll tell me what they got. LRM 20. That oh, was the building. I thought it was the... Ah, uh, oh, fuck's sake. Do it. Firing. Hit the wrong building with the uh, PPC at this one. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, um, the hatchet works great. Like, it does 35, or, yeah, 35 damage, 70, du 70 damage, double damage. But the one thing I have been noticing, though, with using the Steiner Lance, because it's like, I got a hatchman, hatchetman, um, hunchback, a, um, stiletto, and what was the other mech? It's the one I have never encountered before. It's like a, it looks, the, the model is a commando, but it's not. It's like a 35 ton mech. It's got three um, medium pulse lasers and a streak two. I can't remember the name of the damn thing. Anyway, I got, I had those four mechs. So I've been doing a lot of close in fighting because a lot of my weapons are closer ranged. And I've been noticing that the vehicles will no longer move away and shoot you. They'll move behind you and shoot you. So at closer ranges, it's even more deadly now than it was before. They're pretty smart, I gotta say. Which is fun. I mean, I don't, I don't mind that, right? That's the kind of thing. Like, if I got flanked 
by a 25 ton vehicle with rockets behind me and they shot me in the back and blew me up I'm fine with that but a 35 ton mech or a 30 ton mech charging me somehow being able to do a uh, 180 degree turn and hit me hit me in the back somehow miraculously um, for the same amount of damage I think it's just broken it's just wrong I can't get a great good shot in that guy um, I want to reserve you. Or we take the opportunity to try and finish this archer up, which I think we should probably do. 31. Let's just core this guy. Um, and I'll put one of the, I'll put the rockets on. We're going to warlord this to get as max amount out of this as we can. CT, please. Oh. Gotcha. At least it was us that drew first blood. Oh, sorry, we killed the guy down here too. And I'm finding too that the, those mechs that do do the charges like that. Um. They're not considering. Like, if. That guy that just charged charged my main guy and knocked him down here, basically just sacrificed his life. Ready for orders. Right, because he, he ran right into the center of all of my guys, and basically said, "I know I'm gonna get shot in the back and killed, but I'm gonna knock this guy down." It's like, and then his team doesn't actually capitalize on capitalize on it, right? So he died for nothing, basically. It's just, I don't know, it doesn't make any sense that, 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 that that's what would happen. Ooh. Is that the, uh... What was that? Reporting heavy damage. Is that the ass hat? Took a hard hit there. Very well could have been. Wasn't the fulcrum. Couldn't have been that guy, because he can't see us. Probably the ass hat. All right. Yes, Commander. Fair enough. Let's get on this guy. Wow, this guy's like got some good ECM on him. Where's the uh Let's go this route. We'll drop some heat here. Copy that. Wow, both lasers missed. Or what? Sorry, the one laser missed. Sorry, thought I had two on there again. I'm receiving you. That Hollander out here. Hopefully the pirate, the uh, pirate AC ten ten jams itself out. All right, let's fire on this guy. Engaging target. Ooh, groin shot. Anyways, I'll probably be I'll probably be whining like a bitch for the next uh, I don't know how many episodes about melee. I thought the, um, you know, a couple versions ago where we had that uh, Black Knight that could run half the map and basically just smash one mech per, like, per turn. I thought that was a bit uh, OP and broken, but uh, the new charge mechanisms basically puts that in the hands of a 35-ton mech. Which is, I think, what, what bothers me the most about it, right? It basically puts the uh, the killing power of that kind of thing into a 35 ton or a 30 ton mech. Throttle at full. 24. 21. 55. This guy's overheating. All right. Well, you get some of this. Yeah, he's braced up there. 
Ready for orders. All right, we freed you guys up, so you don't have to be over there anymore. Let's get into here. So we got our one side damage. Let's move into here like this. Double time. Let's go. I'll probably be sending these guys off on another mission here in a second. Just want to make sure we keep the evasion up. See if we can kill this guy. Get him out of the battle. Hmm. Let's just go standard. I don't want to waste the high explosive when we can put it, be putting it into the back of a mech. Firing all the Not quite enough. Damn it. Waiting for orders. Hey, uh, that Griffin, um, is asking for some damage. Do you think you could give it to him? So if we switch to standard ammo, it's still only 40? He's overheating though. Shouldn't it be a lot more? Oh well, let's keep him toasty. Well, that doesn't help. Losing lots of armor. I specifically moved this way so we were behind the building so this guy couldn't hit, see us. Commander. I'm under heavy fire. Hard hit there. I'm taking a pounding, Commander. Yeah, well. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. We're missing one mech. I could have brought the demolisher, okay, but I didn't have a pilot. Guy's doing a good job of keeping himself from shutting down. That Hollander is like super hot though. He's in a lot of he's gonna be in a lot of pain very shortly. So these guys are down a ramp from us, which means they can't get up here. So they, he's gonna have, that Atlas is way out of position. He either has to go back and around or come this way and up. I don't have to worry about him currently. So we're gonna smash this side. And then gang up on the Atlas. I think we're gonna have to like, all come around the corner using cinderies on him and shut his ass down. If we have any left that is, by the time we finish this side. Who's going next? Oh, the Fulcrum. We're going to be out of AMS very shortly, too. I put a double double load in one of the Timberwolves. Alright, so let's get you... we got to start killing. So that doesn't put me in visual range of any turrets. That's the thing I'm most afraid of, is cutting into a range of a turret here. Let's get up here. Going full throttle. These guys have all gone except for the vehicle. I think we really need to kill this guy. So let's start getting some damage on him. It's useless to use that on him. Let's fire the rest. Yeah, I find the, finding that the Timberwolf loadouts are just a little underpowered. I try to, like... It's... I don't know. I, it's not like I don't have the right gear. It's just... With the limited weight, because they're so fast, right, I can't change the engine out. With the limited weight that I've got to be able to work with, I just don't... It was hard to find a good balance. Like, I was, I, I wanted to go two ER large lasers, two LRM-20s. The problem is, is the weight won't... The weight and heat won't let you do it. So the best I could get was two LRM-20s, ER large and two ER mediums. Which isn't too bad, I guess. And even then, it's overheat. Okay. They want that vulture, I don't blame them. Waiting for orders. Alright, let's get you here. We're Got gonna it. just start stepping around each other and shooting. Creeping barrage. Uh let's leave you off. And fire. Got it. Critical hit, Commander. 
Like this vulture is devastating. For a 60 tonner, it's pretty nice. Like I tried to do a two double ERPPC build on on, on a uh, timber wolf as well, and that didn't work out either. Couldn't just I couldn't get any supporting weapons in with it, right? It's like I'm limited with weight. All right, well, that's that griffin back there. So he must have been one that shot before. I thought it was the asshat. All right, this guy's coming down to join the fight. Try to get those medium lasers into play. Probably because he's almost out of ammo. Awaiting orders. All right, let's um. You got the Lerm 20. This guy is frontally damaged. How badly damaged. Just gotta land one shot in the front. Which we might get from here. Let's pull you out of the battle for a second. Park you right here. Ooh, it's even worse than that was supposed to be. Well, let's Warlord it then. Hope we get it. Hope we land one in the front. Come on. Nope. Damn it. That's the ass hat. Yeah, so we're out of we're out of ammo on the AMS on the uh, Timber Wolf. Standing by. Finally getting into Roger. the fight. Full speed. Oh shit, this guy's like right in the way. Well, let's get on this griffin then. Sure. You might as well let the rest of their team see us. What the? Damn, over the red line. Commander? Confirmed. I guess we have to deal with this guy now. Uh, yeah, not far and everything, that's for sure. That's the better of the two. Bolt on tandems. For the win. Uh, that's a lot of armor. Take the shot. Come on, tandems. Nope. I'm out of SRM. Nope. Okay. Aye, aye. Taking a pasting here. Confirmed. Taking a pasting. Hammer him. Let's go do control burst on this. Helps a little bit. And firing. Target's taking a critical hit. Okay, good damage. Commander. Let's see if we can finish him off with this guy. Let's drop some HE on this motherfucker. Warlord, please. Enjoy. Copy that. There goes the leg, torso. Come on, bail out, buddy. That guy's got to be more than 45 tons. Man, they're really loving this guy. All right, let's shut this guy up. Leave the narc off for now. Actually, let's switch this to standard. He's already got narcs on him. He's got ATMs and light PPC, eh? Well, let's shut his ass down. Why did his heat gauge not change? You guys saw that, right? 
He got plus 33 heat and his heat gauge didn't change. Did I just miss something? Commander? Tell me I didn't miss something. Sure feels like I missed something. Okay, why is the heat dropped? Is he running something that I don't know about? Because everything just seems to have changed on this guy. So key damage there. I don't understand. What am I missing? Like, I mean, he might have the uh, insulated armor, but it can't be insulating him that much. Thunderbolt shot. Reporting heavy damage. Okay, that hurt. Losing armor. That's a rocket hard point. That could be the guy. That's a laser turret plus ballistic. Freaking thumper, man. Guy's in a bad spot. Well, good for them, bad for me. Okay, that's not getting the Hollander there. Uh. I've been distracted this whole match. And that's what's caused my problems here. That is what's caused my problems. Alright, let's give it to him then. Wait. Oh, I sprinted. Damn it. Copy that. Well, at least we go first next turn. Target's taking a critical hit. Fail. Ah, uh, damn it. Once we pull down the once the Hollander and this guy are gone. We've got a second Griffin here, and we've got the uh, hunchback. We gotta back up. I gotta back up. We've got no cover left because the buildings have been destroyed. This guy goes on 20. Figures I hit the goddamn turret. It's a lot of armor. Wonder if I can get him from over here. Barely hit, Commander. Standing by. Moving out. Okay, let's get into here. Go incendiaries again. Firing a full salvo. Finally. Board, critical hit. Finally. This guy goes on 23. I might be able to get a shot on this guy. What, regardless, I should close with the Timberwolf. Get in close so this guy can't use his thumpers on him. Maybe scare him off? I don't know. God damn it. Reporting! Structural damage! Yeah, I saw that. Got something you want done? That building's in the way. I can't get a direct line of sight on the thump, thump all sure. 
Demolisher. What I can do though. On the move. Full speed. I can flip the bird to this guy. Acknowledge. I don't know if he's still got his AC or not. Yep, he sure does. Twenty-three, so rotunda. And then what? Roll through the fire. Of course, it takes no damage. Oh, it took burn damage, but not in the spot I wanted him to take it. Fine. Oh, he did. Took some in the front. So I should just ignore him now. If he moves through fire, he's dead. Who's that? Who's that? Standing by. Wow, hole like one hex further. Beautiful. Can we shoot everything? That's the question, probably. Nope. Will we do more damage with the... Pulse is a better chance to hit though, so we probably will overall. Okay, let's go this route. God damn it. Why is it always missed with the biggest weapons? Let's just load it all down with medium lasers or something for crying out loud. Commander? It's gonna, I'm going to be overheated no matter what. I'm going to have to Vigilance, too. Double time. Let's get up here. I don't like this one bit. But I think this is the best route to go. God damn it. Yep, once again the big one misses. All out of SRMs, Commander. Armor breach. Internal. Oh, of course, and we hit our guy on guy with it. Because hitting a vehicle with a 79 some odd percent chance to hit is not possible. We can sure as hell shoot our own guy in the back with it. Ah <laughs> oh, man. Am I having fun yet? I don't know, I can't tell. How many guys have we killed? Like, the garrison, the lances, that doesn't even say we've killed like anybody. Commander. Probably because we're supposed to, like... Yeah, okay, good, that guy retreated. It was kind of worth it, I guess. I guess it's saying that because, uh... Alright, who do we want to go after here? Like, we're, like, stripped. That's the laser vomit turret. The mortar turret's probably back there somewhere. I wonder if I should just hit these buildings and get out of here. Let's just back up. See what our options are from here. Okay, so we can try and kill the Hollander. PPC shot, probably LRMs. Get a free shot in this guy, could try and kill him. Turret shot this I don't really have to worry too much about that turret. That's the rocket hard point. Thunderbolt's gone, Mars is gone. 
So he's not really a threat unless we get close. This guy's good. This guy can only power up this turn. But this guy can stand up and shoot. So I'm thinking that this is probably the way to go. Control bursts as often as we can. Last for two turns, so why not? See if we can get him. There we go. Okay, now, um, Good next up. Flames on the way. So, we can probably go... Like, wait, you got your... Uh, so move more to the left, so like that, probably. Order received. In case the griffin decides to come around the corner and shoot you. And go after this guy. Um, HE's 95. Let's use it. On it. Okay, he's done. Tango down. Supporting. I don't think we wait for the Rotunda to die. I think we just kill it. Get four SRMs off the field now. Let's remove you. Okay. I think it's just not showing us here because we haven't gotten close to whatever point we're supposed to get close to that says, hey, the enemy base has got turrets and whatnot. Waiting for orders. That hunchback is not engaging. Let's just engage this guy. Firing on target. All right, we landed one. Yeah, thirty-eight heat. I wonder why. I wonder why it was dropping the heat damage. So sensors. I gotta remember to not get pissed off before I play a match. <laughs> it's just, I swear to God, I'm going, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna whine about the, uh, the, uh, melee again. It's just so frustrating. I try and have a fun match, and yeah, okay, you're playing against the AI, you know, the AI should have some kind of advantages, and I, you know, I kind of get that. And I'm okay with that. But when you break something that just overly gives the AI, like, OP damage and stuff, it's just wrong. Alright, fire everything on this guy. Okay, it's just frustrating, you know? It's like, and it's not fun. And the game's not fun at that point when you can't... When light mechs can just completely obliterate you like that. Good to go. With no realistic, like, no realistic um, reason in the rules for it, too. That's the thing. If there was a realistic reason in the rules, I could be okay with it. Received. But just the sheer amount of damage, like the charging damage, if I, re if I recall correctly, and correct me if I'm wrong, and, I, and I'm sure I might be, but the charging damage used to be tonnage of the mech divided by 10 times the number of hexes moved, right? Right. And it was broken up into groups of five. If I... Uh, wow, that was, like, really bad. So if you ran... Like, if you were an assault mech, a 100-ton assault mech, running... Um, six hexes at maximum, it could do 60 damage. That, to me, is reasonable. 
That's a reasonable amount of damage for a charge. But when a light mech, so so 60 damage tabletop, which is different than this game, obviously. But still, when the char the mech that's charging takes so little damage in any location, my argument would be, unless it's built to charge, then it should be taking a fair amount of damage. Because I don't care, I don't care who you are, if you're a 30 ton Mac running at full speed, and you run into a, a, a hundred ton object, even if you put your arms up to brace, right? Could you imagine running at, I don't know, 200, kilome 200 kilometers an hour, and running straight into a static 100 ton object? I don't care what kind of seatbelt you have, or impact bracers you have, you are taking a lot of damage. Like that mech is going to take a lot of damage. So, and the object that you're hitting, sure it might, but the thing is, is that thing it's so structurally braced. I don't know. It's just I don't know. They've blown past my armor. So what I'm saying is, is it needs adjusting. <laughs> Uh, so my left side is better than the right side. So let's turn this way. Let's hope. Let's hope Thumper Geddon doesn't come up and murder me. Uh, switching this to standard ammo. Gonna go with the improved. I want this guy dead. Firing. Well, there's the knockdown. Yeah, so my I guess my argument is that when I found out that when I had the hatchet man and I went to attack, like I would I would run up and I would, I would set it the set it to use weapon, and I couldn't like if I was running directly at somebody for some reason it wouldn't let me use the weapon. I had to like click on the hex beside him or behind him to be able to use my weapon. And my thought is is if you can do that for being able to attack with a weapon. That should be easily doable for a charge. You should only be, like the hex directly in line with the mech that you're charging should be the only one that you can actually select to do damage in. You should not be able to, be able to run 100, oh, 180 degrees around behind a mech and attack him from behind. Should not be possible. Look at that thing. Yeah, I got no armor left. Waiting for orders. Where'd Thumper Geddon go? There it is there. Thumpolisher. You just stay back there, fucker. I got shit to do over here. I need a clan goss for this. This thing's the one I got right now is fifteen tons, so it needs to go away. All right, let's fire these guys. Firing. Oh, we got 17 points done. Not bad. That's cool looking with the two uh, LRMs in the shoulder there. That ass hat man. Oh, it's in the battle. Ow! Shit! Losing armor. He can somehow see us from down there. Sure as hell can. Sure as hell can. Yes, Commander. Shouldn't be worried too much about the armor you're losing. You should be more worried about the fire you're standing in, the fact that you won't be able to move in a second. All right, let's get you going to here and here. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Like that. Heading out. And we're gonna get on this turret here. Because this guy can bring his weapons to bear on us now. Standard ammo to do more damage. Roger that. Okay, that's not bad. Who else is up here? Commander? Hi, Gore. You got some armor, so let's come forward. On my way. Get rid of that turret for me. I don't want this thing shooting at me if you can 
Get you 91 damage per shot. That's gonna hurt if it hits. Oh, 99% chance to hit, so yeah. Critical hit, Commander. Awaiting orders. Flame. Flames on the way. Wait, that's as far as we can move? Oh, this is Stormcrow. I thought it was a vehicle, for Christ. Yeah, uh... Okay, the asshat can't see us through there. So let's just back up to here. We still got some armor too, so that's not bad. We'll drop some heat this turn if we can. Shoot what we can at this guy. Standard ammo, let's finish it off, drop the heat. Target confirmed. Boink. Target site demolished. Remove the support for that, uh... Hunchback. Receiving you. All right, Marlin. Um, I don't know what I want you to do. So those are thunder augmented. Those aren't sensors. Okay, so that's the least amount there. Go to there. Take a little bit of damage from the mines, but not too much. Get on this guy. Go for a headshot. Let's try and take the leg. Sweep the leg! Or not. Shoot everywhere but the leg. So that's the command bunker. That's the rocket turret. Okay, who's up? Waiting for orders. You need to get away. As long as that asshat won't be able to see ya. So your, that's your left side, is more damage than the right side. Let's turn this way. Acknowledged. Hey, I'm overheating. Yeah, I know you're overheating. It's pretty damn hot in here. You know where it's gonna be hot? Ah, uh, make sure we can't get me seen by these frickers. They're not smart enough to shoot the buildings down, thank god. That lance is out of position, which is a good thing for us. Now the question is, do we go after him? Or do we try and kill this rocket hardpoint? 15 packs of rockets. It's not a lot of armor there, though. So if we could do control bursts, go to incendiary. Do a bunch of damage to this thing. Not enough. Well, we can finish it up with the vehicles. Reporting critical hit. The vehicles can finish that off. So now we can focus on this guy and this guy. With the mechs. This guy's gonna hang out over here to keep this, this uh, Thumper Geddon from coming up here again. He got brave because there was no one over there. He's like, oh, I'll just poke my nose out and see what we can see. Yeah, I wish I had one more mech, and I wish we brought the Demolisher. But... It's one of those nights. It's Thursday for me here, and I'm like, yeah, I'm tired. It's hot in the attic. I'm pissed off because I ran that lance last night, and it was just upsetting that I couldn't finish that one mission. I don't, it was a one skull mission too, that's the thing. I'm ready. Are you? I don't think that guy's coming up here, so let's just shoot you. Firing on target. Yes. The 
inflicted some heavy damage. You did. I like getting those low percentage hits. What's that ass hat doing? Fuck off. Well, at least you cleared the mines for me. I appreciate that. Armor left in that location. I think he's got a thunderbolt. Probably what he's shooting. That's going to be a fun battle after this. I don't know how we're going to take him, carry him. I'm going to have to save the uh, AC-5 incendiaries. Oh, you can see through there, eh? Reporting. Minimal damage. All right. Stop shooting me. I've only got a certain number of double heat sinks, so please stop destroying them. Or proto double heat sinks, that is. Oh, fuck, where's he moving? This heat is frying my internals. On my way. All right. Get on this guy. Roger that. One left target. Okay. Good stuff. Waiting for orders. Okay, let's get on this guy. Uh, I'm fine with the heat. Get. Can't go up there. Oh, we're on a we're on a building. Why put a rent? What? That's totally misleading. Makes it look like you can get up here, but I guess you can't. All right, fair enough. How am I going to kill that turret if I can't see the damn thing? Uh... The trees are killing me here. So that's our right side is the good side. That's indirect. We'll take the flame damage. All right. Got to get that turret. I can't not stay focused. Beautiful. I can't not stay focused on this side. I gotta, I gotta go after these guys and get rid of them fast. I don't think there's another choice here. So it's just the turret and this hunchback left. I'll take them down. I gotta save my, save my proper incendiary rounds for the Atlas, I think. Okay, nice. That's a critical hit. Orders. They cleared your minefield for you, so let's uh, get moving. Warning. Enemy reinforcements. Oh, shit. Oh. All right, never mind. So there's support lance. Uh, what? 
Is there more guys? It's probably I just activated the whatever it's called. That turns indirect. Okay, we're going after this guy then. Standard ammo. Firing. Oh shit! The fuck is this? So they just drop right in the center of us? Because of course they do. Now what? Oh, there's more here too. Centurion. Matador. God damn, man. It's a bad time. At least they don't go this turn. Better hope I don't miss here. Yeah, I want to save my narcs. Someone's dropping mines again. Minimal damage. Well, this should be fun. Aye, aye. This guy's gonna come around and shoot me in the back. I gotta get out of the uh, vision of those other guys, though. I don't have a choice here. Cooking my internal structure. I don't do anything. I'm still overheating. So this guy's going on 16. I don't think this will matter, but I'm gonna Not do it. It'll give us the opportunity to kill him. I can't fire anything. I gotta be able to move next turn. Can't vent all this heat. Copy that. At least I had the advantage here. Lousy chance to hit though. Roger that. Yes, Commander. They still got spawn immunity. That's a little better. Roger that. Come on, give me the right guy. There we go. We're gonna warm up a bit, but I got no choice. I gotta try and kill this guy fast. Firing on rear arc. Man. This is bad times! 
and be out of ammo by the time we gotta face the ass hat. But at least we can try and I mean once we get the guys up here we can back out. And I'll feel okay with that. We dropped with one well, two less guys. We didn't bring the demolisher down. We didn't bring the second uh we didn't bring Rose down in the other Stormcrow. Would have helped out. Pair of LRM 15s, pair of large lasers would have helped out, plus the extra armor. Ah. So who do we got? We got three on three of us on 21, which goes before both of these guys. This guy goes on 15. You're going on 20. Now, of course, of course. Minimal damage on that hit. Oh, it's about to be maximal damage. They got a line on us now. Well, they got a line on this guy. Getting the angle up. Yep. Took a watch my heat. I'm taking damage. Really? Couldn't have guessed. That Centurion's gonna mess me up bad. Got the park someone right in front of this guy. Let's hope for the kill. Wow. This guy can take a beating. This guy can take a beating. Enemy flanking. Man, you really love oh, me. Crap, what was that? You yep, know what that was. The guy's just giving you some love. Moving out. Sorry, buddy, but you're going down this turn, and not a damn thing I can do about it. Let's hope we get this guy. Firing at okay. Target neutralized. One guy in our midst that I don't have to worry about. Fire. Commander. Okay, let's drop some heat. Got a feeling we're gonna need it for the next little bit. Critical hit, Commander. Got a feeling we're gonna need it. Worried about this Centurion. Both of my vehicles go before him. I don't know if I can get back there. This guy's gotta be a l relatively lighter mech, though. That's good damage though. Fuck. Critical hit. Bad one, I think. Yeah, it looked like a bad one. Receiving you. Let's get back over here. Wilco. Come on, give me some orange. Nope. Here comes death. Nope. Ooh, we got lucky. You penned the- oh my god, you're almost dead. I have a feeling this minefield's gonna kill us. You can't move. Because if you do, you die from minefield. Well, let's see if we can confirm a kill on this guy. How good is the HE here? Pretty good. Given everything I've got. I think I hit something good. Not enough for a kill. Good damage, though. I think, did we get his torso or did we just get his arm? Torso. Okay, so this LRM's gone.
Hey, thanks. If I survived that, I would have been able to get away. That, hel that hel Helopolis is dead meat. Yep. Good thing I moved that guy in front of my vulture. Oh, fucking kidding me. Waiting for orders. Got it. That's just... My fault. <sighs> Minor damage, Commander. That's the back turret. Commander. Thank God I have lots of resolve. Okay, we can get you out of the line of sight. Of those other guys. Let's get over here. I'm taking heat damage. She's running too hot. I gotta shut her down. We're all running too hot. Well, sorry, just you are, but get around behind this guy. How much armor do you have? That's pretty damn good back armor. Well, let's get started on it. Giving him everything I've got. Scored a critical hit. Damn, I knew that Centurion was gonna come around the corner. I just didn't think that handful of damage was gonna make my main guy eject. He's got six guts, so it's kind of shocking that he did bail, but whatever. Whatever. I gotta kill that back turret. But I think I got I think I gotta kill these two mechs first. I don't know if those how many more mine uh, layers he's got here. Still got a few, it looks like. Structure damage. The bad kind. What is a good kind? Alright, uh ready for orders. Move order received. Let's execute this guy. Go this route. Oh, uh, fuck off. Well, we at least let that guy back there have a chance to see us now. Reporting. Internal damage. Man, they're loving you. Orders. Loving you. They're Mick loving you. Let's, um, how badly damaged are you? Pretty good. Let's go with the two ER mediums. And I'm going to Warlord this guy. Hopefully we get the kill here. Locked on. No, we're not even hitting the rear armor. Are we? We are. Just the CT armor. That's a kill. Okay. Good to go. All right, now do I shoot that back turret? Probably. I can't see the back turret. Because of course I can't. That guy's only got a medium laser. Hmm. 
mech lance, seven tons, holy shit. That doesn't sound good. Fire on this guy. Firing on target. Okay, good damage. I think we hit him twice, didn't we, with the PPCs? Yep. Good hits. <sighs> is he running or is he... Oh, he's trying to flank. I see. Okay, fair enough. You can see daylight through my armor. You can see daylight through everybody's armor. Awaiting orders. Get into here. Oh, I'm just gonna hide under this mech if you don't mind. I'm gonna shoot this guy. I have no clue if I hit him or not. Wait, wait, we hit him with one for three points. That guy's gotta go away too. Good to go. Those are sensors, it's not so bad. Wow. Guy's protected like crazy. Affirmative. Get your lance to the LZ commander. I'm coming in hot. Are ya? I bet you I gotta go right where the Atlas is standing. No? Oh, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much right where that fucking atlas is standing. Of course, he's hitting with everything. Armor's holding. Back turret. Narcs and sensors, probably. Oh, took a heavy hit there. As long as you don't get hit in the head. Yes, Commander. All right, Toasty McToasterson. All right, let's Roger hope we get the Centurion. <sighs> okay, uh, what's going to give us the best here? Turn these guys off. Turn these guys off. Christ. Pair of MRMs. Possibility for 40 damage each. These are 30. All right, let's just go this route. Firing. Firing on rear arc. We can get that guy panicking. Maybe we can do something here. These guys are going to come up the ramp, so we got to get the hell out of here this way. Which means we got to go through the fire. I hope that I want that fire to burn itself out. Either way, we got to pass. Like where the atlas? I think we have to go out and around this way if we're going to get to the out to the exit. Like we have to go this way so the atlas can't see us. The closer we are here, the easier it is it's going to be for him to see us. So we have to kind of go this way and this way, which means we got to kill the turret and these two guys. We've got PPC, so I should be able to shred this minefield. Kill the building, whatever you do. 
I need that, that building. Really bad. Yeah, I know. We're all bad here. Just ready for orders. Just hang in there. That guy's got to have like some kind of crazy ass ECM. Let's go this route. Firing. Confirm. Okay, he's gone. Mech destroyed. Aye, aye. Get out here. Border confirmed. I think we're far enough away that that Centurion won't be able to run around the corner and shoot us in the back. Pretty sure we're far enough away. Okay, let's get on this turret. He's got 400 armor. And AMS. Okay, so we gotta make sure we just shoot it with lasers. We got the Vulture he or here. The Mad Dog, that is. Timberwolf is here. Both Timberwolves got good armor, so... Waiting for orders. On my way. Okay, same thing. Tell me what to shoot. Okay, good damage. Waiting for orders. Same thing. This guy. Running low on Goss ammo. Got it, Commander. Damn it. Back in the vehicle. Interesting. Taking minimal damage. So he lost evasive? I think it's so ridiculously I'm accurate. A pounding, accurate. Well, I am walking through sensors too, so that helps. Fucking ass hat. How can he see over that ridge? Heavy hits, Commander. Commander? Apparently you can. Double time. Apparently you can see over that ridge. Let's go for the damage on this thing. Hope we get the hit. Okay, we got one on anyway. Who's up? Receiving you. Wanna play the back game? We can play the back game too. We're almost at ammo. Oh no, we've got uh Sam. Let's go with the better chance to hit though. I don't run out of drive space. Orders. Let's go to here. Acknowledged.
Should be able to get the knockdown on this guy. Let's go all out on him. Roger. Okay, if we can get this guy and the hunchback, I need you to stay there. Don't think that matters. What can we do to this guy? Let's go this route, save some heat so we can get the hell out of here next turn. Target destroyed. Okay. I just gotta get that turret. I might be able to use the vault. I gotta back up with the vulture. That ass hat, man. He's in a good position. We're gonna have to, like. We have no way to overheat him now. The Talos might be able to get lucky with, with incendiary ammo. We've only got, like, eight rounds left, which means we got four turns of firing. So maybe we can overheat him. Still have a good chance to win this. All right, hot wire. Commander, need to get away from where that get away from where that ass hat is. Um. Right, commander. Now, I gotta drop them both, eh? It's fine. All I got is cluster. If all I got is cluster, then let's just do this. We'll hit where we hit. No headshot, but that's alright. Ah, uh, he's jumping again. Damn it! I was gonna say we could maybe shoot the building up from underneath him. Ooh! Don't die, bandit. We need you. Critical hit. Bad one, I think. Bye. At least you didn't bail out. Sorry, do I sound bitter? Position confirmed. Let's back up. Alright, do we need to... How badly damaged is this thing? I need to save the Gauss ammo. Engaging target. Bail out. Scored a critical hit. See, they don't bail out. Fuck off, you. Arrogant prick. Do you see that? Standing by. All right. Well. Firing on target. You get one, and we get one. Destroyed. Line of sight's a bit ridiculous, but whatever. It's getting pretty hot in here, Commander. Uh. All right, I'll give it to him. I wouldn't do. I wouldn't give it to him in tabletop, but I'll give it to him in this game. Good to go. Would not give it to him in tabletop. 
Coordinates received. Get behind the, the uh, fucking statue here. We gotta get rid of this turret. Uh, firing. firing on target. Two nice hits. My heat's getting pretty high. Yeah, you relax. I know you're in the garage. Not damn thing I can do about it. You can fry an egg in here. You know where else you can fry an egg? Awaiting orders. Every other fucking location on this map. So stop complaining. Moving to position. This guy's got to go. He goes on 21. I got somebody else on 22. Is it going to be enough? Fuck you and your suspicious cargo. Out of LRMs. He somehow has damage reduction too. Somehow it has damage reduction, I have no idea. Who's up? Come on fuckers, who's up? Asshat maybe? I hope the Atlas dies by a headshot. I really do. I think if I had this to do over, knowing what I know now, the smartest play would have been to start here, move this way, right? Clean up the guys on this side, and then clean up whatever came at us, then go for the base. Probably the smartest move. Yeah, here we go. I can't, I can't get into a direct confrontation with these guys, but I have Taking to. Minimal damage. Got no choice now. Who's up? Commander. Roger. Let's get the guy who can hurt us the most. Fire everything. Taking the shot. One more for the trash heap. I mean, I guess the guy that can hurt us the most is the, is the guy that hurts us the most, but he has to go. He has to go! Commander? Where are my incendiaries when I need them? Okay. Nice. And yep. Target acquired. Okay, we might be able to knock his ass down. Yes, Commander. It's just, that just screams asshat chicanery. You know what I mean? It just screams that he's gonna... ...be able to get me somehow. Standing by. Even that does. Not the best place to be, but we got at least we're back with everybody else here. This guy goes on. What? What am I going on right now? Twenty-one. Affirmative. I guess I should. Oh, never mind. I was going to say I guess I should have just shot the building out from underneath him, but. We got a twofer there. Takes fall damage, but doesn't fall over. Okay. Good to go. Fair enough. Got it. K. 
Okay. How much armor does this fulcrum have? Pretty damn chunky. If we get two hits on the side, it can kill him, but... Let's just ensure that we hit this guy. I'm gonna hang on to the Warlord, though. Critical. At least we got the knockdown. So he's a finish up for next turn, for sure. Commander? That's saying we're going to drop the heat. I'll go with what it's saying. Okay, that's done. That's a kill. Fulcrum's going first, figures. Oh, was that the Alice that went first? No, it's the Fulcrum going first. The Atlas just moved last turn, I think. Come on, buddy. Decide what you're doing. Still recording. That's a good sign. I forgot to wipe out my old episodes before recording this one. But I, I figured I had 80 gigs, so I should probably be fine. Come on. Oh, you're going to engage. Damn it. I was hoping you would run. Can't afford that damage. At least we'll be able to kill him before the Atlas comes up. Waiting for orders. We'll get this guy, and we'll get the other guy. We'll get all kinds of guys. Just shoot this guy's shoulder. Enemy down. Okay, now let's get the fulcrum. I'm ready. I hope you are. Rolling. Cause that ass hat's coming up here in a second. Gotta leave that off. Um Acknowledge. Couple points. Every bit of points counts. Aye aye. All right. Sure. Copy that. So both of these uh, Mad Cats have the AR-12 sheath beacon. Waiting for orders. Things pretty darn good. I will say that, especially if you want to stay stealth, it's pretty damn nice. Dropping the heat. Uh, let's warlord this. Apply some damage. Wow, really? Commander. Couldn't land either of those PPCs, huh? So that's our left arm. Turn our right side. So we can shoot up our right arm now. Drop some heat this way. Well, at least we hit him with one. Who do we have left? Not Faceplant over here. Okay, that Atlas is not coming up there. <laughs> if I, no matter where I move here, that guy's gonna get me. Just stay right here. Drop that heat so you can run out of there next turn. Who's up first? Yes, Commander. I get one shot at this. Twenty-four percent chance to step on him. 
So here's the thing. So there's the charge. Well, that's all I can do. I can't, like, step on him or anything. Kick him. I should not be able... Okay, whatever. Locking target. Yeah, let's see what he does. I think he was panicking last turn, so hopefully he tries to pull away. He's got about 80 and... Nine, well, about 100 there, probably. 100 on each of the sides left, probably. All I need to do is land some of the bigger shots. A couple of the ER PPCs. So all I gotta do is land a couple of those guys, and then we can just finish them off real quick. I don't know how I'm going to get the Atlas, though. I guess I'm going to have to sacrifice... Not sacrifice the Timberwolves, but... Put them in as the meat shield. Give, the, give him a target to shoot for, and then just... Jump on his back somehow. He's probably got, like, 75 on both, both torsos and 100 and something in the back center torso. So it's going to be a fight. Where are you going? I ain't doing nothing, really? Waiting for orders. Best chance to hit if we don't move. Engaging target. He gave himself to us. Solid connection on that one. It's almost an Engaging insult to shoot line. at him at this Get point, but whatever. I'm taking the free kill. Oh come on! He gave Failed himself to, to us. Ready for orders. All right. Um, it says heat alert, but we're fine. All right. Now we got to work on this atlas. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Look at this fire. All right. Commander. How far can you get? Not very far. No matter where I move, he's going to move and shoot me, probably. Uh, wait, he's already gone, right? So if I... Vigilance. I'm not going to get enough to get away from him. Let's get to here. Talos is so damn slow. Good to go. Moving to position. Okay, let's set up for the kill here. Okay, fire's gone. That's nice. Perfect timing. Commander. That screams ass hat shooting me. Get to there. Okay. I'm receiving you. That screams Roger ass hat attempting to shoot me. But let's move and present some armor. We've got lots of it. Awaiting orders. I guess it's kind of fortunate that the uh the 75 tonners are uh, almost full armor. Waiting for orders. I'm attributing that to the slow movement speed plus the AR-12, that sheath beacon, because it it really dampens the enemy sensors. Waiting for orders. Okay, we do move before him. Get into here. Right, commander. Still think he might have an option to get us. But we are in a position to all attack him next turn, I think. Receiving you. Yeah, we're overheating here, so let's just move into here. Full speed, no target. 
All right, see what he does. Down to the six of us. Six v six v one. Yep. Figured he'd have enough. Wow. What has he got? Um, huh? Uh, is that broken? I'm wounded. Is that broken or is that just me? Left and right here. Armor breach. Internal damage. Internal structure damage. Was that broken or is that just me? Aye, aye. Aye, aye. I, I don't I don't even know what what do I say to that? Holding for the right opportunity. Wait a minute. How does he go twice? Not much armor left in that location. Hey, I'm getting my ass kicked here. Did I just I'm taking internal miss that, damage. That was the end of the turn. What the fuck? This could be a friggin' wipe from this one guy. Of course, my incendiaries miss. We just have to go for it. I got no choice. Fuck him. Wow. Well, at least we got a head hit on him. Yes, Commander. That makes him a little less cheaty, I guess. On my way. Double time. I want to know what those missile racks are because that was a hell of a lot of 12 damage. I still can't tell. Enjoy it, because you got no choice but to take the heat. Confirm. Either we get this guy or we don't. Affirmative. Commander? Hundred bucks says if we go there, we shoot our own guy in the back and kill him. Well, we got to go for the solid line. I got no choice. I can't afford to miss. Roger that. Okay, he's going on 16. Commander. So, we've got a significant amount of left side damage. Is there a way we can get on his left side? There is. Affirmative. I hate the fact that he's standing in water too, but not much I can do about it. We got to take the overheat. Targeting for an alpha strike. Yeah, fuck you. Target eliminated. 
There it is, folks. Mission successful. Okay, I gotta see what those missile racks were. Wow, well, we made 482 sea bells. <laughs> we made bank on that one, guys. I gotta see what the launchers were on that thing. Oh, man. I got rebuilds. We lost the Gauss rifle. At least we kept the ammo, though, so that's a good thing. MS Mark II's gone. Oh, well. How much we can do? At least, well, I ejected and lost all lost my contraband fire control system. Actually, I think this is built in, so I think I'm okay. Gunnery support B, AR-12 sheath beacon gone. So I should look for those. Wow, man, Blade got six kills. Or five kills, I mean. What else did we get on this side? Stormcrow took a lot of damage, but survived. So that's good. These guys all took some internal damage, but nothing a major. Both vehicles went down. I hope we don't lose either of them. That'll be sad. Well, let's find out. Oh, man. So, I wonder what this Atlas has. So, rewired the IFF to be this subtle. It's a pretty standard Atlas chassis, but some genius rewrote the articulation program for the hands to flip the bird when firing. I have no idea what this thing has. I'll have to go look it up. Because that... I don't know how it could fire... So I'm assuming that the what it was firing was heavy rockets. And if it had launchers... Like a heavy rocket launcher... Well, maybe it was a heavy rocket launcher 20. That would... It seemed like about 40 rockets. Yeah, okay, I can, I can, okay. Fair enough, if that's what it was. Fair enough, Helopolis, whole thing. Toro, I gotta find, I gotta get gear out of this, because I ain't got nothing left. Clan ER large laser, I'm gonna throw that in for now. Katyusha, really? Oh, that's what it had. 20 ton handheld one shot, that was what it was firing. <laughs> Look at that, 12 times 180, are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? Talk about broken weapon, but that's... So that's what he had. Yeah, I thought maybe it was around 40, but that was 100 and, 180 shots. The weirdest thing, though, is he survived that. Like, he survived the salvo. But then died the next turn. Because I didn't realize... Anyways, I'm going to throw that in. Because that's just stupidly insane. LRM-20. We got four of them, so we're okay. Mars. That's uh, ten tons. It does AOE damage. Yeah, see, every time I come up against these, it scatters damage everywhere, but it doesn't really seem to do a lot of damage, though. And they're missiles, too, right? So they can get shot down. Five salvos for ten tons. Rack 10 pirate. 16 tons. Shalala rifle. Shalala. Damage range plus, plus minus 10. Recoil of 2. Requires ammo installed in the same location. Fires a devastating guided missile. Uses heavy rifle ammo. So matches Thunderbolt 10 missiles. But technically heavy... So is it a... It's considered ballistic, but it says it fires a missile. Twelve percent jam chance. It's interesting. Some suspicious cargo. Thunderbolt 4 packs. Pa packs. Armored cowl. Battle computer criticals times 4. How is there 4 of them? Oh, that... Uh, I know, they came off the Griffins. Came off the Griffins. Compact heat. Wow, we're not getting... I'm going to take that for the sea bills that I know we're going to have to pay out. Now, Artemis, we don't need. Ballistic is only plus one. We've got better ballistics. God, this gar is this just all garbage? Wait, you know what? 
Did we lose? I wonder if we lost some mechs. I think we lost some mechs, guys. I can't use these. I was thinking about taking these, but I don't think I can use them. I think I can put them in. We yeah, got lower punch melee. I don't know. Fire control system, double heat, prototype double heat sinks, rain finder plus three. Uh, some pretty nice stuff here. How many of these do we have? Zero. Well, I got to take that over the range finder as much as I want to take the range finder. Sniper sensors, tracker sensors. Yeah, I think we lost the mech. This is easier to find than tracker sensors. Uh, upper recoil. Well, let's find out. Man. Most of the stuff here is garbage, too. Like, there's a few good things. I'm hoping we get them, but I don't know. All right, well, we got an assassin piece. Yeah, we lost a bandit. We lost both bandit hovercrafts. It's okay, we have other pieces, so we can probably put one more back together again. Pirate ATM-6s can go. Well, that's 400,000 we get back. That's not bad. I'm going to hang on to these. Mars, I'm just going to sell. Uh, if this was in one of the other playthroughs, I'd probably keep it, but we're going to get rid of that. 16 tons too, right? So, Bloodhound Probe, we got one. We'll hang on to that. These we have better better versions of, so I can probably ditch those. Ditch that. Industrial TSM, definitely hang on to that. Gonna need it for the Katyusha. Hang on to that. Sensors ranged, hang on to that. Arm recoil. So was there any... There's no mech parts, so... Hopefully we didn't lose the mechs. Didn't really check through here. Definitely lost the bandits, though. Well, there's the first bandit, and there's the second one. Giant has died. Well, it's the first pilot on this side that died. Uh, at least we got a lot of sea bills to rebuild some stuff. At least we didn't lose any mechs. So that's a bonus. But we got some work to do, that's for sure. Yeah, you know, me not dropping that extra mech and then deciding against dropping the demolisher as well was a bad choice, I think. We got a lot of work to do rebuilding stuff here. Let's just check really quick in the storage. I think I've got enough. Yeah, I got enough to put the bandits back together, I think. So this one is... Is this the ATM? It is. So we can ready that. Which one is this? Medium pulse lasers. LRM-20. I think we want to go with the LRM-20 for the indirect capability, so we'll hang on to that bandit piece. Ready this guy with these two parts. That mech you wanted is back online. Got the ATM back. So we lost one. <sighs> and a pilot. It's a good fight, though. I... I for me being frustrated at the very beginning, I, th I, you know, I was worried that we would just have to leave, but then that Atlas cutting off our escape was like, okay, well, we got to fight him. There's no way we can get away. So I'm, got, I'm glad I stayed and stuck that out, fought to the end. You know, I think if we had gotten our two uh, Timberwolves in a little earlier, might have made a difference. And if, if I hadn't been distracted at the beginning and I had flanked left, like I probably should have and killed that Atlas, he would, well, he would have murdered for sure one of us early on. And maybe it was better we waited to the end. I don't know. That's a tricky one because if he had killed the vulture right at the very beginning, it might have been a it might have been a different battle. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. 
But I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And keep your eyes open for the video this weekend for the next series. Um, and uh, you can make some comments on that as well. Till next time, we'll see you later.